as again, like I was just talking to AJ, we've got the best background, don't we? Like she's there. Well, I have to say it's one of the best backgrounds out there for yeah. sure. Hi guys, I'm here with Barney, Captain Ontara, and we're just going to do a bit like uh, Captain's opinion, and I think that's important. Your opinion counts, uh, Barney. How thank, are you? Thank you very much. I'm very good, thank you. Yeah? Excellent, yeah. Cool. I just want to chat about two little things. I want to sure. chat about hiring crew, mm -hmm. and about selecting uh, suppliers, vendors, anybody, but let, let's start with crew, because everybody's always asking us, like, how do I get that next job or why you get hired and what better to ask the captains like what do you what's the key thing for you to hire someone or not hire someone for me the most important thing is that they can hold a conversation with me uh, yeah. then I, that means that I'm gonna get on with them yeah and I know that they're gonna be able to speak to guests correctly yeah I'd say also I'd be a little bit careful about what people put on their um, Facebook profiles okay that's also quite important um, I don't, uh, I might not necessarily go and look myself, but mm. other crew members yeah. may be reading the CVs and they may mention things that, uh, that could go work against you. Some great tips. I think, I yeah. think the audience are going to love that. Okay. And then, and then the same question basically goes for like, if you are going to well, need a new supplier, an agent or, or anybody or choose a refit yard or marina, whatever it is. like. Is there anything specific that is of high importance to you in the way they approach you or the way they handle with you? I know price is a big thing, but that's not like, that's a void yeah, price. That, that's okay. If we're, not, if we're not looking at price, then uh, I'd say basically just reliability, reliability? And, how, and, and whether they can get places, things to you in, in, in the places that you are, uh, yeah. wherever that may be. Yeah. I mean, maybe if you're based in, a, in the Caribbean, then another spa is going to work better than based in, uh, based in Europe, possibly. Okay. Um, but um, you don't be afraid to sort of chop and change a little bit, I'd say. But um, so long as, as long as you trust them, and uh, you know, and they can deliver the product, then that would be the most important thing to me. Okay, trust. Is a yeah, key element. pretty much trust. Yes. So, guys, it's all about trust. Thank you, Barney. <laughs> Pleasure. Good. Next up, AJ, Chief Officer on Black Pearl. By the way, she's in the in the back, she's so right she's right, right there. there. She's right there. And AJ, I, um, Again, like as I said earlier to Barney, we get so many questions from crew, like how do I get hired? You do a lot of the hiring. What do you look at? What's absolutely important or an absolute no-go for you? Um, I mean, that will vary slightly on, on different boats, but having a good resume really catches the eye yeah. straight away. Okay. Um, good photo, good resume. And um, again, what we also look for definitely is longevity. Okay. People who do, when they get on a boat, they stay on a boat uh, and we're always looking for people that can progress within the boat as well. Okay. We, we prefer to be able to promote interior within the boat as yeah. people move up, um, but longevity is a good one for sure. That's great. Any no-nos? Uh, again, varies on some boats. Uh, tattoos are more acceptable in certain uh, boats now. Uh, for us, um, that's not necessarily the case. Um, no smoking is a, a very big one on a lot of different vessels. Yeah. Um, so it does vary boat to boat. Um, you know, being a sailboat, even though we're a pretty special one, yeah. still allow a bit of facial hair occasionally and a, a bit of a beard. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, some boats have a very strict sort of uh, clean shaven, no tattoos. Um, and uh, yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty lenient with that. You're pretty lenient with yeah. that? Like you just want the best? Exactly. You know, you get the right crew and the right fit, um, you know, it, it makes a big difference. Fantastic. Thank you so much for that first answer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to transition to... Because obviously, well, you're an amazing vessel, but like everybody wants every vessel as their client in the end, right? Like whether it's a the marina or whether it's a vendor or a yep. yacht agent or or a supplier of any goods. Like, yep. what what do you believe is your key decision making factor? Except for price, let's let's forget about price for a second. Yep, um, I think uh, response time response is time? really important in the superyacht industry. Um, very often we'll turn up somewhere with a very short period of time to get a lot of stuff done. Yeah. And like you say, price is not necessarily that first one. Yeah. Um, but if you get a quick response on the email, you get somebody who's very keen, they're happy to come straight down the boat, yeah. talk to you straight away, um, and find out exactly what you want. Yeah. Um, that really makes a big difference. Great. 
AJ, thank you so much for this chat. Cool. No worries. Thank you. Thank you. I want to get the opinion of Chris, captain on Black Pearl. As again, like I was just talking to AJ, we've got the best background, don't we? Like she's there. Well, I have to say it's one of the best backgrounds out there for yeah. sure. I mean, when she's under sail, she's even, that, that's like, that, that's some amazing shots, right? Yeah, when she's under her sail, it's uh, truly amazing. Yeah, and, truly uh, amazing. And when we're really going fast, then it's even more amazing. How many knots? Uh, so far, the fastest speed we've had her going under sail is just under 23 knots. That's fast. It is pretty fast. That's pretty so. fast. It's pretty cool. Yeah, fantastic. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today, I've got two questions and I asked, to, I asked AJ them before and I'm going to ask them to you as well. I know you've got some great crew, so there must be a trick in hiring crew, something that you pay close attention to that, that like either tells you this is someone I want or tells you no way they're not going to be on my vessel. What is that for you? Well, you know, first you have to find the people that match kind of the the ethos of your team yeah. you know we all have to be fairly like-minded but not exactly the same okay. but uh, you know you have to be committed yeah you have to be I hate to say it, healthy we yeah. we are a team of non-smokers mm -hmm. so we don't smoke not that that's a big deal but healthy active like-minded and committed yeah. and so it's that's not easy to find it's not easy to find you have to really search around a lot and you know, word of mouth is really a great way of finding crew. Yeah. And if you can't find people through other people who are like-minded and know what you want, then yeah, you have to go to crew agents and then they have to do their due dil diligence and help you out. Fantastic, so thank you so much for that tip. Guys, pay attention, right? Because all the tips you're getting today are gonna help you either get on your first vessel or progress in your career because like this is one of the vessels they all want to end up in the end right so better work on it i want to ask you the same question related to uh, suppliers vendors marinas anybody that supplies you with anything is there anything which you find of key importance except for price let's let's not talk about price but like what is your key decision making criterion to work with someone well you know when we work with a company we often bring in people that we've worked with before yeah. if that particular company or those those particular people have provided us a really good service at a fair price uh, delivery time was really prompt then we like to stick to those people yeah. so it's 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 all about you know time is of the essence we're all time sensitive so people who can provide us good service quickly efficiently and at a fair price is really important Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me, Chris. And uh, let's see who's next. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. So nice of you. I'm having great conversations with captains. And next with me is Andre, who's the uh, captain of a catamaran, Cilium. Uh, That's yeah. correct, yes. And uh, so thank you so much for joining me for a second. Um, I just spoke to Black Pearl. They hold a lot of crew. You have five crew. So I guess for you, the team is very important. Yes. Yeah. So if you hire a new crew, what do you what do you look for? What's important for you? If we hire a new crew, well, uh, it, it does happen. I think the most important is, uh, well, motiv motivation, but also uh, uh, besides the, the, the skill of every everyone, crew is the, the possibility to uh, mix and mingle together. You know? Okay. I think, um, from experience concern the, the success of a season or a long season or years after years is the is the good ambiance a good atmosphere within the crew so the and, team and, and, yeah. and the team exactly and yeah. this is this is a, a team player of course this is always a, you know a, what we looking for but the, the the good atmosphere within the crew is a, is a, is a winning situation well, thank you so much for that answer and if we then like because the same question we get from people that supply boats if everybody wants every boat as their client everybody but like for any supplier whether it's a marina or an agent or a, a vendor or a technical supplier 
what do you want from them? Except for the best price, of course. Everybody wants the best price. But what yeah, is like? That, that's our job, you know. Uh, Save the owner. We will be looking after after his budget. Yeah, of course. Uh, always. But uh, there's, there's there's quite a few. It's an interesting question because there's quite a few. Um, you know, um, it's, it's efficiency. Is uh, is uh, transparency on what you get charged? Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes can be questionable. But um, I've been using agent all sorts of uh, uh, service over over the years, and uh, it's the it's the, um, the the friendliness, the the people who's gonna do the extra length to, yeah. to you know sort out uh, a situation. And uh, also, like I said, uh, you know, the transparency uh, as far as uh, as far as dollar sign concerned. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's a big uh, uh, big point. Fantastic. I would say. Thank you so much for your time. No problem. No problem. Thank you so much. I'm sorry to I'm track not, you up I'm here. Not, no, and you did a great job. I'm, Thank I'm you. I'm not uh, familiar with okay. the camera. Good. This was very interesting speaking to three captains and an, a chief officer to learn about what their opinion is. Let me know if you want to know, have more of these videos online and if you've got anybody that you'd like me to speak to. For now, subscribe to the channel to stay informed. Thank you. It's a wrap.